Man United's next likely departures as Rangnick prepares for exit of unsettled trio. Ralph Rangnick has a lot on his plate as Manchester United interim manager. From rescuing a faltering season to implementing a new tactical philosophy, the Red Devils' bosses six months in the Old Trafford hot seat are set to be hectic. But despite only being in charge on a temporary basis, Rangnick will have a say on who comes in and who goes out, with three players already preparing to pack their bags. Anthony Marshall's agent recently confirmed that the hot and cold striker wants to leave the club in January, while Andreas Pereira, currently out on loan, has declared that he will do everything to end his days as a United player. Join the debate. Who should leave Man United in January? Comment your thoughts below. On top of those two public wantaways, Edinson Cavani's time as a cult hero appears to be nearing its end. Following Cristiano Ronaldo's return in August, the Uruguayan's role as the experienced goalscorer in the team has been handed over, just like his shirt number. And with Barcelona and Boca Juniors reportedly interested, he could hardly be faulted to wanting to leave. But who could join Cavani, Marshall, and Pereira through the exit door? Here, Mirror Football runs through the Red Devils' next likely departures. Less of a likely January exit, but a more inevitable one, Pogba's second spell at Old Trafford is set to come to a drawn-out end in June upon the expiration of his contract. The 28-year-old rejoined United in 2016, but inconsistent form and the team's general plight have rendered his return an unromantic one. With Rangnick also set to leave his post in six months' time, the lack of a permanent manager means Pogba's future is likely be decided in the boardroom, and it appears the Red Devils are unwilling to bend to his and agent Mino Raiola's demands. Talks have supposedly been going on for a number of months, but this exit now seems a when, rather than an if. Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain and Juventus are Pogba's most obvious suitors, but are all expected to wait until a free transfer becomes an option next summer, making a mockery of the pound's 89 million United shell out to re-sign him five years ago. Everything has changed. Nothing has changed. That adage could well be applied to Lingard and his current predicament at Old Trafford. The England international remains out of favour with his boyhood club, the same situation he found himself in this time last year before an inspired loan move to West Ham United. When Lingard returned in the summer, after scoring nine goals in the capital, it was largely expected it would only be for a short period, and his fresh start would continue either back at the London Stadium or elsewhere via mega money transfer. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, however, was impressed with Lingard's pre-season determination to stake a claim and kept him around. But with six months left on his contract, like Pogba, that departure is expected to be much less satisfying for all parties involved. Six months ago, it seemed like Henderson's future with the Red Devils was firmly secure. Having taken the no.1 spot from David De Gea by the start of spring, the academy graduate had broken into the England squad for Euro 2020 and impressed supporters with his commanding displays between the posts. But through a combination of injury and De Gea's resurgence in form, Henderson is now second choice again and has been linked with multiple moves away, most recently Dutch giants Ajax. Only 24 and boasting plenty of experience under his belt, the ex-Sheffield United stopper has a bright future ahead of him, but it currently looks to be somewhere other than Old Trafford. A superb servant since he signed in midway through David Moyes' ill-fated eight months as manager, Mata has been edging closer to the exit door for a number of years. 33 and still blessed with the technical ability to play at the very top, the Spaniard has signed two short-term contracts since 2019, with his latest deal set to expire in June. Although Mata could be plying his trade for another club come next term, United are reportedly keen on him becoming an ambassador, once he retires no surprise, given his kind nature and charity work. When the time comes for the former Chelsea man to leave Old Trafford, he will no doubt receive a fitting and emotional send-off. Although fans would have liked to have seen Matic during his younger years, the Serbian has still be a solid presence in the Red Devils midfield for over four years. Contracted to the club for another 18 months, Matic seems to enjoy life in Manchester, often coming into the starting's eye to provide experience and stability. But the 33-year-old could soon lend his qualities to another side, recently admitting that he would entertain a move to Brazilian giants Flamengo, should the opportunity arise. Matic captain United as they drew 1-1 with young boys in their final Champions League group game last week and was asked by TNT Sports whether he would consider a move to Brazil. Only Flamengo. Only Flamengo. The only one, he replied. I like Dejan Pitkovic. A hug to everyone. His hero, Pitkovic, spent four years of his nomadic career with the Rio-based side across two different spells. 
and if Maddock fancies a move to the Maracana, he could join Pereira at the club. Have your say. How should Man United line up against Brentford? Pick your team below. Tip to potentially become the Red Devils' best ever player by none other than Sir Alex Ferguson, upon United's 2013 Premier League title win, Jones, like the club at large, has been unable to reach that level again. The 29-year-old has endured torrid luck since Ferguson retired, with persistent injuries forcing him to miss heavy portions of the preceding eight years and lose his starting place under a host of bosses. Yet to make a Premier League appearance since January 2020, Jones' career is dwindling out, but a fresh start could be exactly what the ex-Blackburn Rovers prodigy needs.